a very simple functioning world is an array, a whole fabric of natural mechanics that make up the world. And I feel that right before our eyes, the answers that we're looking for are right in front of us. We just need to peel back those layers and get a sense of everything and, 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 and further our education. What I guess defines this as neo-pop art is that the, the black lines define the artwork. The thing about the stitching is that it's, it's like the fingerprint of the painting, you know? I mean, each painting's unique anyway, but the stitching is like the DNA of the painting. It's unique, it's unlike any other in any other painting, you know? In the pattern that I make in every little dot, and with the series of dots, that gives it a life that uh, of its own. When you do this, it's not about perfection. It's about like the organic nature of like does it look hand done. sketching. I would do it as a way to indicate where color or where um, dark color would go. Like if there was really dark color that was supposed to go somewhere, I would indicate it by uh, doing this stitching. But then I started doing it more and more where whether I was shading or not, the stitching was there, you know? So when I started this particular style of artwork, the stitching stuck with me. I think this is my own thing that I could say 100% original. You know, no one else does this. This is from right from my brain, you know? And it's because this is how I also see the world. I mean, I see the world is stitched together, so. And how does that translate? It was a, a feeling of extreme satisfaction, like whatever the art I was doing, what I was supposed to be doing this like my whole life, you know? Like I was supposed to be expressing artwork visually this way. So as soon as I did it, I was like, yep, this is it. This is what I've been wanting to do. This sketch, this painting, winner, right? Comes from right here. Started here, and here, all these sketches. Not to take life so serious, but at the same time, to take it very seriously. So how do you satisfy that? The answer for me was allegory. Creating icons of consequence that could be as entertaining as they were intellectually stimulating. This sketch, and this is the new promo item for the painting for Beauty and the Best, the event.
There are many messages that come through in my art and I intend it that way. I intend the user to use their own imagination to help interpret the message. For myself, the artwork is about exploring who we are, why we're here, and where we're going. It's that combination of uh, the marriage of science, nature, and the soul of humanity, the connectivity of everything in the world. So I use my art to explore that. And other people, maybe they take a little piece of this, and a little piece of that message, and they mix it with their own message. And that's OK, too.